Hello dear students this is Dr Amar Preet Kaur a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department today's topic is biofortification before going into depth let's have overview about the population we already knew that there are 8 billion people on this planet and there are many issues which are associated with the growing population i will take only one issue that is the hunger the food is sufficient not to feed such a number of people almost 3 billion people they are remaining without food and moreover the food which is already present on this planet is not having all the nutrients so if somebody is getting the food it doesn't uh, contain or a balanced diet so it will be deficient in minerals maybe in some vitamins or amino acids so scientists they are working day and night to bring that crop which will contain all the essential nutrients so biofortification firstly understand the meaning it is a breeding of crops with high level of vitamins and minerals or you can say higher proteins and higher fats which are healthier for human beings so such a procedure such a process is known biofortification and what is the meaning of fortification it is not in your syllabus but still you must have information about fortification fortification means adding nutrients in your diet to make your diet rich in nutrients but biofortification it means adding all the nutrients in live crops so the scientists who are dealing with biofortification they keep certain things in their mind like protein content and quality oil content and quality vitamin content and mineral content the students you must know that cereals for example rice maize uh, wheat they are generally deficient in amino acids lysine and tryptophan and legumes like pulses pea there there is fasciolus or soya bean they are deficient in amino acids methionine and cysteine okay so plant breeders they are keeping these points under consideration and they are creating those cereals which don't lack the very important nutrients for example we have certain varieties of maize like proteina shakti and ratan they are rich in amino acid lysine and tryptophan the variety of wheat it is atlas 66 and it is very rich in protein content now we are having the rice variety which is almost having five times higher amount of iron as compared to traditional variety of rice moreover it is very interesting that our indian institute indian agriculture research in institute iari new delhi is developing the vegetable crops which are very rich in minerals and vitamins for example vitamin a it is present in high quantity okay which iari is uh, creating at their research lab okay i will give you the examples carrots pumpkin spinach they are high in this vitamin and vitamin c it is present in tomato bitter gourd and mustard which are which are created at this particular laboratory okay so have you understood what is the purpose of biofortification and how scientists are to creating and considering the very important facts to create such crops which are rich in nutrients 
so this was about biofortification thank you for listening if you have any doubt you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com